okay guys good afternoon good day wherever you are watching me from okay today i wanted to talk about asylum i know in a one word asylum asylum simply means um refuge or protection yeah something like that so if somebody is seeking asylum in another country it means the person is asking the country to protect him or her like maybe the person is having a, a problem in their own country maybe there is a war going on there is a threat on their life or maybe uh, on the life of their children on the life of their family so they are they are asking a country that actually offers asylum that please help me i can't go back to my own country at this moment i have to stay in this country please protect me they are begging them to protect them asylum is just like um a visa because when you apply for a visit visa you have to maintain the condition of your visa like a, as a visitor you're not supposed to take up any form of, of employment like you, are, you have to stay for a certain period of time you know that kind of thing so as a student you are supposed to go to school you maybe um, you're supposed to work you're not supposed to work more than 20 hours those kind of restrictions those kind of i won't call it restrictions they are like the laws the rules and regulation that you have to follow to maintain your status in in another man's country if you are in a country as a worker there are some conditions that is attached to your maybe to your visa that okay oh, as a worker you have to maintain this employer you have to work for them you cannot work for another employer that is in the same way asylum when you seek asylum in another country you ask them to protect you when the asylum is granted the documents they give you when you go through there are some things you have to see, you see there they will tell you things you have to do and one of it the, the one of the important things on on this document is that you cannot go to the country to your own country okay let's take for instance i said okay canada please um I, my, my country is there is a war in my country i want to seek asylum in canada you cannot go back to your country maybe for a certain period of time let's say they give you five years or maybe ten years during that five years or during that ten years you should not go back to the country that you claim that was not safe for you why because when you are ready to apply maybe after your asylum period is over then you want to apply for a permanent residency they will look at your your informations they will look at your your files to make sure that you did not you did not defile any any conditions on that your visa or on that your your residency okay let's take for instance that you say okay my country is not safe somebody is threatening me they want to kill well, whoever they want to kill not me like, okay my country is not safe please help me stay in your country then they, they say that okay no problem stay here for five years during that five years i now carry my bag i look like left and right nobody's watching i carry my bag say i'm missing home i have to go then you go to your home country you come back you go you, nobody's going to stop you because you know you have the document to go and come you go you come back you go you come back no problem by the time you are ready to apply for the actual maybe you, you're ready to apply for maybe your residency and they start checking your documents they will tell you that so especially see don't try this thing with canada especially canada they will tell you that on so dates on so dates you went to this place you went to your country the same country you claim that was not safe for you you went there you know you you did not you did not keep to your to the end of the bargain the bargain is that you said you told you told us when we asked you that this country is not good for me and they were treated or even some some people even there are some families that circumcise female children some women they take their child and they run away to this country that help me i don't want them to touch my child then this you know they all this country they, they value you know children whenever they had children they were like so then you take the same child that you claim that is not safe then you take that child back to your own country several times during your asylum period hello when you are ready to apply for your permanent residence it's going to give you problem because when they look at your file they see that you you left the country multiple times they are not going to grant you they will tell you that you did not keep to the end of the bargain and for that reason they are not going to grant you that residency and for that reason they have the right to remove you from their country this is one of the mistakes a lot of people made there's this rumor about one tiamu guy going on i'm not sure i don't know if the rumor is really true but if it's true i think he did the wrong thing there is a case like that in canada for a woman 
I think I, I think that this one has even I even family. Like they went together, they seek asylum, and fortunately for them, yeah, they were granted the asylum. And during that during five years, between five years, they went to their own country back and forth more than five times. They go, they come back, they go, and when they are ready to apply for their residency as a family, checking their record. They find out the government find out that they actually leave the country multiple times. You know, in this Tiamu guy's case, I think he's a very lucky guy because you know that saga of UK UK people were is actually people were actually threatening him. You know, a lot of people are hungry because of that stuff, and I think the UK government did the right thing by giving him, you know, taking care of him. Giving they even gave him money. Like I had, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. They said they gave him money. That kind of money then the next thing you want to think about is to come to work your country to build build which house like how then maybe it's us that they won't find out because these people they keep like they keep records now they said he was arrested they, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will make um investigations and they will find out if he's really guilty or not if if he's really guilty they are going to remove him from that country what is the point of my this my video is that whatever visa you I me mean, i always say this thing all the time if you go to a country as a visitor as a student as a worker please keep to your like maintain your status asylum is more of a visa as well it's like a visa too they will give it to you like a visa what are the conditions attached to this visa you have to know them and you have to stick to them so that you won't have you know any problem so that is that about Sai Alum. See you guys in my next video. Bye.